Welcome back to Mr. J's Workshop. Um, it's been about a year since I posted anything. Um, life happened, uh, COVID hit, changed everybody's life. Uh, but with that said, uh, we'd like to get back into uh, putting some videos out there uh, that might may be fun, maybe educational, maybe some tips. Uh, so this week uh, we're working on a aircraft cockpit, uh, doing some placards. So this is one of those rewarding jobs. I'm very passionate about aviation. I'm also a flight instructor. So. Placards, what they are, they're identification and markings to ensure safe, safe standards inside of a cockpit, also providing information to passengers. It's sort of like uh, labels and nameplates, just to be able to identify things a little bit more easier. Uh, so with that short description, let's get back to the shop. The material we're using today in the aircraft cockpit to make these placards is called Dura Black. Uh, it's 20 thousandths thick, coated in black, and engraved white. Uh, some of the great features of this material, the company uh, produces a performance testing. And what that means is they take the material and they test it in elements. Uh, some of the elements they use is sunlight, UV, uh, abrasions, high temperatures, salt water corrosion, and chemical exposures. Uh, other great features on this material is it meets the industry and military standards. Uh, and that's important to me because it, it produces a great product for my customers and, and they're very satisfied with it. So uh, with that said, we're gonna move to the next step. So today's job is for Tony Hernandez. He's uh, here on our field and uh, he specializes in Piper Super Cub restoration. Uh, but this job is for his RV4, which he just purchased. Uh, pretty much all the placards inside the aircraft were done with a label maker. And some of those labels are starting to pee to, uh, peel up and some of them are faded. So we're gonna do the, uh, redo those labels for him. Uh, so what I do first is uh, I draw things up and I'll send them an example uh, of the drawings and sometimes what really helps is uh, I'll actually laser cut some poster board, engrave and laser cut the poster board, lay it up on the panel and take pictures of it and show the customer this is what I'm thinking for the placards. And normally what happens, sometimes they'll, they'll accept it if they like it, or they'll draw me sketches, and this may go back and forth, back and forth a couple times until we have a finished product. Once we have a finished design and idea, now I could go into the material and start laser engraving the material for the job. Now, I, I recommend before you start the job, you get a test piece of material and you run some test power settings, speed settings, height settings, and DPI settings uh, at different points to see what the best quality engraving uh, you can get on your material. Uh, what I do is uh, I keep swatches and usually I boil down to three power settings, you know, and you know, cause you, power settings, you could go from zero to a hundred percent, you know, so you'll be there all day, but uh, I got it, you know, I got it down to three power settings. And then all I have to do is the variable speeds to see what the quality is, adjust the height of the machine and check uh, different DPI settings. You know, it, it takes some time but once you have this, you're set for the future, you know, but it's important to have this because I, I, I like to meet a standard with my customers and get the best results I could get.
So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have a comments uh, or any suggestions, uh, just put it down below. And with that said, we'll catch you next time. Have a great day.